I wanted to ask you guys for your help because you are the friends that Zach and I are going to be speaking to. Hey guys, it's Maggie and I am back today and we are still on the countdown for our road trip. We are gonna be leaving in two days and obviously there's a still a ton of stuff I have to get done around the house. But I think the most important thing, the thing that is worrying me the most is what we're gonna be talking about at the Ostomy Conference. Zach and I have been asked to speak about relationships when there's an ostomy involved in there and I'm a little bit nervous. Zach, of course, is as cool as a cucumber, but I wanna make sure that I am talking about subjects that ostomy patients wanna hear about. And since we're talking about relationships, it can be so, ugh. I look back to 16-year-old Maggie, who was so just not confident with herself finding new health, you know, I had been so sick for so long and the ostomy suddenly gave me this health, it helped me gain weight, it made me feel good and I was entering the dating world, I was a 16 year old and I just remember thinking to myself how, how could anybody want me with this ostomy stuck to my side and so I'm trying to think about those days when the ostomy was brand new, because I'm sure there's going to be brand new ostomy patients at the conference. But also, as you go through life and your relationships become more deep and more meaningful, and maybe you get married like Zach and I did, how that differs from just, you know, a casual dating relationship. I think there's so many different elements that we could talk about when it comes to ostomies and dating and relationships. And I wanna make sure that I, I can cover subjects or at least touch on them with Zach, uh, with you guys. So I did wanna ask you guys if there was something, if you're, if you're living with an ostomy or maybe you're going to get one soon, what concerns do you have about your relationships and dating and things like that with your ostomy? Are there certain concerns you have? Um, are there questions you have? I would love if you help me in the comments because I will be reading the comments before we actually speak. This video is gonna go up a few days beforehand and I do have my thoughts on what I'm writing, but I, I do wanna make sure that I'm addressing you guys and um, hopefully, I don't know, just making it so we all feel more confident with ourselves, I think, I think everyone struggles with that, whether or not you have an ostomy, but I wanna make sure that um, whatever we're saying is for you. I get so nervous public speaking. I don't know if any of you guys experience this, but it's something I have dealt with my entire life. I, I get very nervous when I have to speak about something that is so close to me and so emotional, like living with an ostomy and being in a relationship, which is why I am grateful for today's sponsor, Blinkist. They're helping me overcome a bit of this nervousness, a bit of this anxiety, so let me tell you more about them. Blinkist is an app that helps you understand major themes from over 5,500 non-fictional titles, and the one that I ran to was The Art of Public Speaking by Dale Carnegie. In just a matter of minutes, I was able to gather tips from this title on public speaking, which is exactly what I need, and I need it in that short amount of time because we're on a time crunch. I really do not have a lot of time before we leave for this trip. Like I need to be packing, I need to be doing 18 million things. But I also wanna speak well at this conference. I have the option to both read and listen to the blinks, which gave me a number of tips on public speaking, helping me with my confidence, amplifying my voice, and even physical exercises I can do to relax my body because I tend to get shaky. You'll hear it in my voice when I'm nervous, and this is going to help me overcome that. If you've got the same issue as me and you struggle with public speaking, you are going to want to check out Blinkist. Plus, they have so many other titles on a variety of subjects. I'm listening to ones on cleaning and motivation, 
two things that I'm needing a lot of help with right now as I prepare the house. You can even create a space of your favorite titles. So I made one on public speaking. You can share it with others if you'd like. So I'm going to share it with Zach as we prepare to speak together about relationships with an ostomy. And I'm thrilled to share that you can now get 25% off your Blinkist annual premium. Start your seven day free trial by going to the link on screen here or the link in my description. Thank you so much to Blinkist for sponsoring this video and thank you for the encouragement that I very desperately needed as I head into this public speaking engagement. I'm glad that I discovered this app before we left so I can use it and I'm gonna go through other titles too. Um, I'm gonna use it to help prepare myself. Okay, so anyways, put your thoughts in the comments below. I will appreciate it so much and obviously I'm gonna share it with Zach too. Um, so today, I have been cleaning. You might hear the dishwasher in the background here. You might hear the clothes washer. I've got everything washing. I feel bad. Our friend that's staying with Holly and Nanners, I, I want to make sure the house is semi-clean for him. Um, I'm very grateful that he's going to be helping us. It is a huge relief because the dogs know him well, and it's just... Whew. But anyways, I've been packing my suitcase, getting my clothes together, figuring out my professional outfits, my summer day outfits, um, my nighttime potentially going out outfits. I don't know what we're gonna be doing. I'm packing for everything. So I've got my big suitcase for all of that. Um, I have to get another smaller suitcase for Zach. I'm also making sure that he's bringing everything that he needs like bathing suits and stuff. You know, I am, I am the organizer one. He is more of the laid back, go with the flow. I'm more of the we cannot forget anything, so we must bring our entire house with us kind of person. I'm using my little packing list that I just made in a recent video. I've added quite a bit to that list, I should show you. Um, that list has gotten a lot longer though, and I'm trying to make sure that I have enough of everything. This is truly the longest trip that I think we've ever taken, I've ever taken, because we'll be away from the house for almost two weeks. I feel like I've been prepping for this for weeks because it's not just like, oh, let me pack my stuff and put it in the car and go. It's making medical appointments. So taking care of my sinuses was a huge one. I didn't want to be sick on the trip. So thankfully, you could probably tell by my voice, I'm doing a lot better now. Um, but also scheduling IV fluids. That's what I'm doing tomorrow. I'm getting a Brazilian wax tomorrow. Wanted to make sure we got that taken care of. Um, I had to make sure that my ostomy supplies were going to be delivered prior. So that way I know I have enough for the trip. Also medications. I had to call the pharmacy just to make sure that I was going to have all my prescriptions in time, which that reminds me, I still have to pick up one of my prescriptions at the pharmacy. Ah! I'll probably wind up doing that tomorrow. So I'll bring you along for tomorrow. Tomorrow's gonna be a long day of just getting all the stuff done. And, um, and then we leave the next morning. I'm really looking forward to this trip though because the connections you make at conferences like this, uh, it's unlike other friendships. These are people that, you know, you've each individually gone through such difficult times, times that are hard to explain to others, but when you're in a group like this, when you're meeting up with other ostomy patients, everybody gets it. Everybody just knows. There's no nuances that you have to explain. I remember the first time I had this feeling was when I went to a summer camp for people with Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. And it was like such a high coming <laughs> home from that trip. You just felt so connected to people that finally understood you. And I'm thankful. I have wonderful friends in my life that are not ill. You know, they're totally healthy and they're willing to listen to my experiences. But when you finally meet somebody who just gets it, it's different. So I'm just, I'm really looking forward to seeing old friends, meeting new friends. Um, I will try to keep Instagram up to date. YouTube will be a little bit delayed as you can probably already tell. Yeah, I'll try to keep it up to date on Instagram with what we're doing and what's going on at the conference. And it's gonna be a great time. But I think right now what I would like to do is I want to start bringing my stuff downstairs. My, um, why did I just forget the word for suitcase? 
my suitcase, uh, my toiletry bag. I got a nice little one that hooks onto a door, like a doorknob or a hook or whatever. I just got one of those, so that's pretty cool. Um, I've got another larger bag that I'm going to put a Ziploc with my ostomy supplies, my medical supplies, my electrolytes, my jewelry. I'm trying to think what else is in there. I'll probably wind up throwing snacks into this bag. We're gonna go grocery shopping tomorrow, so I don't have that yet, but yeah, I gotta cart all that stuff down the stairs. As you can see, I am bringing quite a bit of stuff, um, and that's just for me. That's not even Zach's stuff, because he's gonna pack last minute. He will pack tomorrow night, knowing him. I've added to my list, though. I did a very high-level list, because, like I told you guys in the last video, I like to take like my toiletry bag and use stuff right out of there or my camera bag, even that, like I have all the lenses in there even though I'm still filming at home. I'm like taking the lens out, using it, putting it right back into my bag because I don't want to forget anything. There's just, oh, there's so much stuff, guys. I feel like I'm moving out. That's, that's literally what this feels like. But as my dad always said, it's better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. And that is how I am taking this trip. I'm bringing anything that I could possibly need, whether it's medical related or it's not medical related. So I will be very well prepared. Um, but yes, I am going to spend a little bit of time today just continuing to write my thoughts out about what Zach and I can say. I also want to talk to him tonight and just sort of kind of like run through what we want to talk about. It's an hour session, so we definitely got plenty of time to talk. I don't know how we're going to fill a whole hour talking about this. Um, I'll just, I'll have to pretend like I'm filming a YouTube video, I think. And who knows, maybe people will have questions. Um, but yes, if you can help me with any thoughts or questions you might have about relationships with an ostomy, um, that would be so helpful to hear about. I'm trying to think of 16-year-old Maggie and what she would have wanted to know or, or even, how old was I when we got married? 27, I guess? 27-year-old Maggie, what she would have wanted to know for getting married. All these big steps in life that involve relationships, but also this, this ostomy that you can't hide. You can't temporarily get rid of it. It's, it's always connected to you. It's always stuck to your side, literally. I mean, it impacts so many different parts of life. That's why I love this conference too. There's all these different sessions and so many different speakers speaking on many different topics. This is just one small topic within the conference. So let me know your thoughts. I appreciate it so much. And again, Thank you so much to Blinkist for sponsoring this video, making this trip possible for us. It is so helpful and helpful in me preparing for this, this speaking engagement um, as somebody who gets very nervous <laughs> speaking in front of people. Make sure to check them out in the link in my description or the link on screen. And yes, thank you for watching this video. I will see you guys very soon, my last day at home preparing to leave, medically preparing to leave, and, uh, and then we'll get on the road. <laughs>